Hello everyone. So today we will see how easily you can create an online store for your products to start selling them online using swipe billing application. You can even integrate the store on a custom domain name as per your wish. To start with setting up your store, you need to add the products and its images. So to add your products, let, let's first check the products and services section. You can click on this add new item to add your product. You have to enter the name and the product images. You can add multiple images. The size aspects are also written here very clearly for your reference. And once you have added the product name and the images, please click on the more details section where you will find this option of show in online store. So at any point of time, you can toggle off and on between uh, this button option. So it will help you to show your product online and when you don't want, you can just simply switch off this button. So like this, you can add all of your items along with the images. And once you are ready with uh, all the products and the images, you can go to the online store part and you can click on the link that is displayed on your online store section to check your online store. So let's visit the store and check how it looks. So this will be the major interface of your online store. You can see the categories options here. So you can create categories as per your requirement. You will see multiple banner images. You can add your own banner images and you can even set your most popular products. What are the best selling products you want to show and then shop by category option. So this is the uh, interface that your customer will see when you share the online store link with them. So your customer can add the product, add multiple products as per their requirement and then simply click on the proceed to checkout option. Once they click on the proceed to checkout option, they will land on to this page where they can see uh, what uh, the, the order, su order summary along with the quantity and the prices. Uh, they need to fill the contact information and the shipping address in order to successfully place an order. And if they can even see the coupons. So this coupons can be created by you uh, as per like however you want to uh, show them the coupons. Uh, what discount you want to offer then you can create coupons for all those things and those coupons will be shown here to your customer at the time of checkout you can notice here there are two options for the payment which is cash on delivery and pay now so this is completely uh, on you if you want to show them both options you can show them both of the payment options if you want to receive only the uh, online payments then you can restrict your user for that as well so this was the customer's side now let's also see the business owner side like how the dashboard will look on your part so this is the online store part where you will see the dashboard uh, all the orders are mentioned here so when you receive a new order you will get a notification on your uh, chrome notification on and uh, on your mobile as well uh, on the number that you have registered so uh, at times you can simply click on this refresh order button to see what is the recent order that you have received and you can accept the orders, cancel, edit the orders and uh, you can even like once the order is completed you can click on this convert to sale option which will help you generate an invoice for that particular transaction. So here are different tabs where you can check which orders are pending which is accepted, completed and cancelled orders as well. So this dashboard will give you a brief idea about all the transactions uh, that are coming from your online store. You can use these tabs to search for a particular transaction or customer or you can even check it date wise. Then there are multiple setting options available. So to see that settings part you can click in this drop down arrow and you can click on this online store settings. So in the online store settings as you can see here. Uh, like I mentioned before, these are the options show payment gateway and cash and delivery. You can switch on both or however you want to show to your customers. Then this is the link of your online store. So this will be the name of your online store. So if your business name is let's say Star Enterprises, so you can uh, write that name here. So now your link will be myswipe.store slash Star Enterprises. 
this is the one that is created on swipe domain but you can even create this online store on your custom domain so now the next option is uh, auto create invoices for online payment so if anyone is making the payment online then when you switch on this option then invoices for the transaction will be automatically generated you don't have to manually generate the invoices then you can even show your online store like a catalog so basically by catalog uh, what I mean is that the add button won't be there. It will be just the products will be shown along with the prices. They cannot add and check out the cart. It will be just like a catalog. You can set your packaging charges, transport charges from here. And uh, the, these are multiple options that can be explored. So like this one option is show out of products. Uh, show out of stock products. So if you want to show the products that are out of stock then you can switch on this option else you can switch off the options if you don't want to show your out of stock products then the most exciting part here is this google measurement id that helps you to get an analytics real-time analytics of your store so here if you put your google measurement id it will help you track how many live users have clicked on your online store link and then description and notes so whatever description and notes you want to show on your online store you can write that here and it will be uh, automatically displayed on your online store then here you can check the marketing settings that i showed you in the online store you can set your featured products best selling products then you can even rank rank them by ranking what i mean is like which product you want to show first then second the order you can decide from here then store notification so whatever notification you want to display at the top of your online store that you can write here and it will be displayed and the banners so whatever banner images you want to display on your online store those images you can upload here then the additional charges part where you can like set your own logics that if the order is below this amount then this will be the delivery charges or packaging charges so you can write your own uh, logics here and that will be applied at the time of placing the order. Now this section helps you display all your social media uh, links. It's like direct hyperlinking. So when you add your links here, the social media icons will be added to your online store. And if a person clicks on that link, he will be redirected to your uh, website or the social media handles. Then you can even check the layout settings for the product and the best selling product and feature product part. You can, uh, if you want to display more about your business, you can write about your business in this about and policies part, which will be shown in the about us page of the online store. So majorly this was the online store settings part that can be explored. And then like the, uh, like one I mentioned, at the time of checkout coupons are displayed so from here you can set your logic for the coupon you can create your own coupon you can uh, write a code coupon code coupon type to which customer like if it is a first time customer new customer or customer with minimum 10 orders to whom you want to show this coupon what will be the maximum amount what will be the discount percentage all these logics you can write for yourself and this coupon will be displayed at the time of check out to the customer so this is how you can simply create your online store within seconds and uh, if you have any queries you can contact us on our support number thank you